All right, we made our way down to Fajardo here, Fajardo, Puerto Rico. We're at the Villa Marina, getting ready to head out. This is one of the coolest marinas, and we're going on the Spread Eagle today. So let's go check it out. We raise the main sail and away we go. We hit Tacos Island with sunny skies and crystal clear waters. Part of Puerto Rico. If you keep going to the left, the one in the distance over there, that's Culebra, the one far, far away. It's Culebra. It's got the number three beach in the world, guys. If you get a chance, go check that out. Uh, then uh, we got uh, Palomino, the one that's closest, the one you can see the trees on. That's a privately owned island right there. Well, I'll come back to that in a second. If you keep going all the way around the front of us, guys, the one with the most sand, that's Icacos. That's where we're going to be sailing to today. And if you keep going to the left of Icacos, you'll see the point of the Bermuda Triangle. Right where you see that lighthouse. That's the oldest lighthouse in Puerto Rico and also the point of the Bermuda Triangle, guys. Did I mention we're on a three hour tour and going to the Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> no, I'm just joking, guys. Okay, now keep going to the left. This is the El Conquistador Resort, the larger resort in the, con uh, the Caribbean. Guys, look at, him. look at that resort and tell me if you can find a beach. There is no beach, guys. The largest resort in the Caribbean has no beach. So what they have to do, guys, they, have, they don't have their own beach, but they have their own island. They lease this Palomino Island. They signed a 90 year lease, so they don't have their own beach, but they have their own island. Alright guys, that's, that's it. You got, now you know where you're at, guys. We prepare to anchor on Ikakos Island for some beach time, some snorkeling, and fun. Welcome to the island of Icacos. How'd you all like the trip over here? Smooth. How do you like the office? <laughs> this here is uh, what we call the office. And this is where we're going to practice our snorkeling on the shallow water off the beach line there. Then we have lunch on board. And then we take you a live coral reef offshore after lunch for some extreme snorkeling. Uh, we, uh, and of course, down below, we have the fabulous crew slash slash master chefs prepping lunch for us. We can't wait. Deviled eggs. This is their specialty on the spread eagle. 
What a beautiful, tasty spread. Almost don't want to touch it, it's so pretty. All kinds of goodies. Great rack for that swim. Mmm, Puerto Rican bread. Alright, we're getting ready to make some sandwiches. As you can see, we got a great spread today. Lots of sandwiches and snacks, fruits, veggies, cookies, you name it, they got it. All right, Adventures is out here today in the Spanish Virgin Islands, and we're having a great time already. Uh, we're on the Spread Eagle 2, of course, captained by our good friend, Captain Bill. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, you're a sailor. How long you been sailing? Oh, over 20 years, except you include when I was a kid, I'd make it more. When you were this tall? Yeah. <laughs> right on. I'd make it a little more. I don't want to be specific. Well, we're very, very <laughs> trusting in you. And uh, the Spread Eagle 2 is really the, one of the best boats out here, and it's uh, you know one of the best trips that they have. Yeah, it sure is. The Spread Eagle is a very good, well-built boat, well-kept, and the uh, crew does a great job. And I'd say it is one of the best operations out here. And you're right, the crew does a great job. Um, we've been on all of the different catamarans, and one of the things that stands apart on the Spread Eagle 2, of course, is the crew. And then, you know, it's nice because you got a lot of room to, to wander around. you got shade and sunspots, so it's, it's a perfect boat. It is, it is. It's comfortable for anybody who wants to get some sun, or if you want some shade. You got whatever you want, you got it out here. And of course, Captain Bill always takes us to the best spots for any cacos, and then we uh, make another stop at the uh, the big reef, right? That's right, after lunch. Nice. Take nice. a nice snorkeling reef after lunch, and then we sail home. And then we, we crank up the music and get the pina coladas and rum punch going. That's right. Right on. One of the best things you can do out here in Fajardo, Puerto Rico, is come on one of these boats and have one of the best days of your vacation. And I love how you say, uh, this, is, this is this welcome to my office. You know, a lot of people work in a cubicle. That's right. So when you say, welcome to my office, I can That's right. I, yeah, sometimes I tell them, uh, we have another office in the Concrete Jungle City, which one do you prefer? And they always say this one. They always choose this one. <laughs> right on. Well, listen, Captain Bill, we really appreciate it. And uh, we, uh, we're going to have a great time today. Pleasure is ours. All right. Thank you very much. We pull up anchor at Ikakos and head to our next spot. What do we have in store? We are surrounded by beautiful sights of all the Spanish Virgin Islands. It's a perfectly clear day. We can even see all the way 40 miles to St. Thomas. Fantastic. And we make our way to the second stop. More reefs, big reefs, more marine life. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's get in the water. And uh, this is, uh, we're on the south side of Palomino Island. That island was actually used on the Pirates of the Caribbean movies also there. So uh, we'll take pictures of it. And uh, what we're going to do is walk right around here. Find a on boat here. You may also visit Tortuga Reef, just off of Icacos, one of the most beautiful reefs around the islands. And great marine life, beautiful sights. You gotta see it. We 
we are enjoying tons of marine life. We see lots of blue tanks, sergeant majors, such a variety of reef fish just waiting to swim with us. We're looking for remoras now. They resemble a small shark but are harmless. Hey, get away. So much to see out here. No, get away, guys. We had this one lady just jumped right in and started flapping the foot because it's like, um, yeah, you just scared all the fish. Yeah, wow. Well. Yep, shark. sure is. <laughs> come on, baby, come up. That's us. so cool. Come on. Get him. Ah. You got this, Peggy. He's like, huh? I said, you got this. You got it? Get him up here. I tried. No, I need you to like he's not hungry. Allure him. He's allure like bread. Him. I don't want bread. Maybe I want to eat all those other fish. Chris, that nipple. Something like that. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Yep. <laughs> It's so cool. You got it good? Yeah. Hi, Brianna. How are you? Where are you from? Jersey. From where? Jersey. Jersey? All right. How old are you? I saw you swimming. You're like a little mermaid. Okay, wave goodbye to everybody. Do you like Puerto Rico? Yeah. All right. Oh, cool. Alright, one of the funnest things about boat trips, of course, is the snorkeling. But then, of course, uh, also diving off the boat. Let's see if I can do a backflip. If I don't come back up, call for help. I will. Okay. Yay! He's back up! <laughs> Okay, Peggy's getting ready to dive off the side of the boat. All right, go, Peggy. Get the, get the uh, rescue gear ready. Everybody, get set. On your mark, get set, dive! Go, spread eagle! Woo! <laughs> That's crazy, man. All right, nice dive. All right, we raised the mainsail for the last time and heading back to the marina after a fantastic trip of snorkeling on the spread eagle 2.